After leaving school, one tends to have multiple routes they can take. For me personally, I went to college, but since I have been here for around three years now, I've started to question what are the parallels in lifestyle when it comes to these two places of education. To find out more on this, I've decided to get the perspective of a university student and a college student to analyse the main differences. Here are their thoughts. So talk me through your daily schedule as a university student. Luckily enough for this year, my daily schedule started around 9 o'clock. I'd get up, have a shower, brush my teeth, do my hair, have some breakfast. Then I sort of wander into uni about 10 to 10, which my first lecture started. Do that. Um, didn't last too long, about an hour. Um, then I'd go home, have some lunch. Spend about an hour doing anything new and then wander back into uni for the rest of the day. And then in the night, come home, sit down, play on my computer, uh, and then cook some food in the kitchen. Normally, just chicken or pasta, which is a student's diet. Um, and then go to bed, then about well, 12 ish, 1 ish. And that's my daily schedule for life in uni. What would you say the parallels are from living with your parents and coming to this new sense of independence? Um, nothing is done would be the answer. Sort of, my room is pretty messy and, and at home it's quite immaculate in a way. But I just feel like I don't get anything done in uni. It's sort of, in a way, you, you, you're independent but you don't do anything. You get that sense of independence but you don't do anything with it. You copy for yourself, yeah, but you never clean as well as you do at home. Probably because you have someone on your back telling you, oh, come on, do this, but you know, at uni, you just have your housemates that pass to you, that's all. Unsurprisingly, there does seem to be a big change in lifestyle when it comes to responsibility after you leave for university. But when it comes to the base structure of lifestyle, there doesn't seem to be too much of a parallel. Let's meet up with Morgan from Bridgen College to discuss his change in lifestyle after leaving school. So, describe to me your daily life routine when it comes to college. So, got my alarm set for around 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I wake up and get dressed instantly, brush my teeth, do whatever I gotta do. And then um, I catch the 8 o'clock train from my stake to Bridgend. I'll be around in college for from 9 until we finish about half two and then I'll be back home on the train then for three o'clock and I'll just chill and relax forever. So what parallels do you see between your college life now and your school life previously? School life was a bit much different because I didn't like really enjoy school as much as I enjoy college. Um, I think school is like subjects that you don't really like want to take and nothing really interests me in school that's why I didn't really sound a sixth form and as college it's more of a choice because you're growing up and you're more mature in college and it's like it's more of a choice to actually come here and you want to learn instead of in school where sometimes you do more in the subjects you kind of switched off brain college you're more hands-on with it um the tutor is definitely different you're more closer with them and because it's more of a hands-on course the feedback you get is instantly to help you progress further in the course but uh college is much different to school than i expected do you plan on going to university at all after this after my two years are up from college, I'm probably going to look into my options, but university is probably on the cards. So from that feedback, it seems as though the actual process of getting up and going to the place of education is quite similar, with only a few time differences to parallel. One thing that stood out for me, however, was the differences both gave to their change in lifestyle since leaving school, with both seeming as though it's changed their life for the better, and that they are enjoying their lifestyles a lot more than when they were in school. For me personally, it has cleared a fair bit up in terms of seeing the differences between these two places of education. However, the next question that remains is, will I go to university after college? But that's a question for another time. I hope you all enjoyed this insight and have learned something new today.